Hey, we have a major verdict that we want to tell you about, a big health battle. A St. Louis jury awarding $72 million in damages to a woman's family after she claimed using talcum powder contributed to her development of ovarian cancer. ABC's Deborah Roberts has the latest. It's a stunning judgment. The jury blaming Giant Johnson & Johnson for a 62-year-old Missouri mom's ovarian cancer. Johnson & Johnson spent a lot of time keeping this information from the public. And so this verdict allows other women to make informed choices about the products that they buy. In court documents, Jackie Fox said for over 35 years she used the company's shower-to-shower -shower powder, which contains talcum for her personal hygiene. The lawsuit linking it to her cancer. Fox didn't live to claim her legal victory. She died last October after a two-and-a-half-year battle with the disease. Her son Marvin Salter stepped in as plaintiff. Continuing with this trial was indeed, you know, painful. Um, but at the end of the day, it, is, you know, it was what she wanted. In a statement to ABC News, Johnson & Johnson said, the verdict goes against decades of sound science proving the safety of talc as a cosmetic ingredient in multiple products. The company plans to appeal the verdict while facing 1,200 similar lawsuits around the country. For Good Morning America, Deborah Roberts, ABC News, New York. And Dr. Jane Ashton can't wait to weigh in on this. It's getting a lot of attention. I'm yes. just seeing uh, Lara's reaction yeah. to this. What has been known in medical literature about the link between talcum powder S and ovarian cancer? So, Robin, some historical context. In the year 2000, I was an intern in the GYN world. We knew that there were studies that showed a link between the genital use of talc powder and an increased risk of ovarian cancer. Now, the data is all over the place, kind of inconclusive. Some studies show a doubling of the risk. Some studies show... 20% increased risk. Some studies show no link. The theory here is that the pathway goes up into the uterus to the fallopian tubes and to the ovaries and causes damage there. Um, and we don't really know. Is it talc or is it another chemical in the powder right. that's doing this? Is there anything, I mean, you, you told us about how, how that happens. Anything to do to res reduce your risk? Look, ovarian cancer, there are some things that we know are associated with a reduced risk. Number one, women who take birth control pills, being on the pill conclusively known to drop the risk of ovarian cancer, having had children, breastfeeding, also tying the fallopian tubes, getting a tubal ligation, known to decrease the risk. All the buzz in the GYN cancer world right now, Robin, is about the fact that the majority of ovarian cancer is now known to actually start in the fallopian tube. So you have got the attention of a lot of people at home right now who are listening to you. And are there symptoms? I mean, you know, that a lot of people are going to be thinking is, it could possibly something Right, so them. control what you can control because about yeah. 1 in 70 women will get diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Symptoms, bloating, pelvic pain and pressure, increase in urination. These are vague and common symptoms that affect a lot of women. If you notice a difference and you feel those symptoms every day for two weeks, call your gynecologist. I think people are going to be shocked that this has been known for some time. Suspected, and, yes. Right, but not in the mainstream people know it, but exactly. they do know now. All right, thank Jen, you. thank you. Let's get over to my